Hey everyone, so today I wanna to show how bad the range can be on a, a what I'm driving anyway, a Tesla Model 3 uh, all-wheel drive in winter time. It can be bad. They say, you know, you'll read 10 to 30%, but I've seen much less. So today it, in my garage anyway, it's showing about 36 degrees. I've had the car sitting out here. I just got in it a couple minutes ago. It's at 64% charged, and I'm going to change that to a mile or distance because I think it, it, it's going to be easier to, to show that, uh, to compare, you know, how many miles I'm driving today versus how many miles the car actually shows. I'm just going to do some basic things that people would do on an average day. I'm going to run some errands. Grocery store, I've got to run to Home Depot, just a couple things. So this is where the range gets bad. If you were to just take your car out and in the winter time and drive around, your range is going to be worse. It's going to be 10%, 20%, maybe 30% worse. If you were to just drive somewhere and then, you know, to work and then drive back. What makes it bad is when you are makes it worse than that is when you're driving and stopping and that's what i'm going to show so when you're running errands like anybody would it gets bad so uh let's show that anyway uh, like i said garage 36 degrees fahrenheit outside though it's about 21 22 which january chicagoland area this is the average low let's get going it's just a, a couple miles saying it's 24 degrees out. So this is not a ridiculous watt hour, but as you saw, it was a lot higher when we got in the car. I've seen it getting in the car in the winter time. It goes up to 1,600, 2,200 uh, for the first mile or two. So uh, this shows 1.2 miles. All right, I'm going in. Okay, back in the car, 19, 20 minutes. Oh, no, wow, no, more like 50 minutes. It's showing 28 degrees out, 186 miles here, 62%. All right, let's get to the next stop, let's see where it goes. The sun is really helping out, though, to warm up the cabin, because I noticed when I got in the car, it just didn't feel that cold at all. Yeah, almost 1,300 watt hours per mile batteries have gotten a lot colder too my regen ability has gone way down but you know if you see we're already down to 400 watt hours per mile it's that initial you know when you get back into a cold car there's a lot of energy expended to uh, warm up the car and I'm assuming the uh, batteries a little bit also you can see we're down to 182 miles 60 percent so yeah it's going down quick so now we gotta make a, just a quick little jog over to the grocery store. All right, pick up a few groceries, be back. Okay, 30 minutes stop. Still at uh, 60% there, so really no change. It's not that cold in here at all because of the sun. 1,341 watt hours again. This is what gets you. Might be the last stop today, the to Home Depot. Oh, down 174 miles, 58%. Only actually traveled 2.8 miles. But we're also down to uh, 422 watt hours again. So you get down to about 422 if we're cruising around. It probably would go down even lower. And I'm parked again with the sun um, in the car, help keep the cabin warm. So that helps a lot you know at nighttime or if it was cloudy out this would be even worse all right let me go pick up a few things and i'll be back back in the car that took a lot longer than it should have of 40 minutes down to 56 percent so we lost a couple percent just sitting here corresponds to like five miles in in distance according to this so let's get home So back home and yeah, this is 
kind of worse than even that I, I thought or expected. We drove today just 6.4 miles, things very close to my house. And the car used, it started off at about 191 miles. When we came back, it was actually at 165 miles. Uh, right now it's at 162. I had to go in the car and come back out. So we lost a, a couple percent just sitting here. 9%, 26 miles is how much energy the car is showing as lost. We only really drove 6.4 miles. That is not a 10%. Uh, increase 30% increase or, or loss however you want to look at it Th that is a massive difference now is that really a big deal well no it's it's not uh, as long as you have your car charged to a decent amount which most people do I've only charging mine up to um, well you saw 65% or so 190 miles even with this I'd have to be running errands all day and even then I would probably still have some some energy left and if it was that big of a deal I would just charge it more you know instead of leaving the house at 66 percent I would charge it up and in the winter you probably should be charging to at least 85 percent or, or higher just in case I'm rarely going anywhere but I just wanted to show how the difference in this and the loss that you get and how bad this can be with I'm assuming most most electric cars not just with the Tesla these batteries they don't work well in the very very cold weather so the car spends some energy just keeping the batteries warm all the time you know it's not healthy for the batteries to be that cold and they if you did have them that cold and you tried to use the car it wouldn't work very well really that's it that's that's what i wanted to show and i kind of don't want to get some numbers behind it because i used to you know do this drive around and do my errands and come back and be like wow how many miles did i drive today because my car lost a lot you know and that's the other thing too if, if you're going to work it's it's good because you're just going to one place and letting the car sit and coming back and as you can see the where you lose the most energy is the stopping for 20 minutes or so everything in the car cools down the interior of the car the batteries in the car you get back in and the watt hours are you know crank way up 1200 and believe me you'll see a lot higher if it's even colder out especially the interior of the car and um, that's where you lose a lot of energy it's the stopping and going so in other words if you were to go to work and uh, just stop the car once then get in the car come back home later in the day you're not doing a lot of that stopping going, but the car is now sitting outside in the cold all day. And as we saw sitting at Home Depot for maybe 40 minutes or so, lost a couple percent, you know, five or six miles. So if your car's sitting out there all day, eight, nine, 10 hours, you're gonna lose some significant miles just with the car sitting out in the cold. Uh, same goes if you have your car outside in the winter and you don't have it plugged in. So these are some things to think about, reasons to get uh, the long range instead of a uh, shorter range electric car. Again, I, it's really not that big of a concern. I was still just charging my car every night in a garage though at 110 volts and driving my car to work in every day, no problem. 300 miles even though it's not even close to 300 miles in the winter, is more than enough. Even 150 miles is more than enough. So you just come home, plug it in every day in the winter for sure, and you have no problems. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. But if you have a long drive and you're doing tons of errands every day, yeah, it might be an issue in the wintertime for sure. I mean, you might end up having to stop somewhere and charge the car, which is easier to do these days, but it's, it's a possibility. Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, like and subscribe, please. Thanks. Bye-bye.